we. Good morning, everyone. So my name is Zore. Thank you, Danny, for the presentation. Um, we are going to move to the topic of youth engagement, which I'm going to talk about you a lot here. I want you to get back to the sentence that Danny mentioned, and I would like you to think about this for a second. What if I tell you 12 million hectare is equal to four times size of Belgium? What if you knew it is equal to three times size of Switzerland? Or it is equal the size of Greece? Does it give you any image? Can you feel this loss is every year? What do you think of this sentence? What if you know 135 million people is equal to the size of population of Mexico? It's double the size of population of France. It's just 27 years ahead of us. By the time you would be in your 40s. And this many people would be displaced and we have no idea what would be their life, their struggles, and their issues they need to deal with. So, a bit tough, yeah? So what is youth engagement and why it is important for us? Youth engagement recognizes your right to participate in decisions that impact you, that um, acknowledge your greatest skills in tackling climate change. It integrates you to policy making for creating effective plans and programs for tackling climate change. United Nations systems recognize the key role that you play in this area and work very closely with the youth-led organizations through a, a specific program called um, United Nations Joint Program Initiative on Children, Youth, and climate change. Since 2008, this initiative has been coordinating efforts of 16 entities of intergovernmental and many youth organizations to empower young people like you in involving them for adaptation, mitigation in climate change, and making them to becoming our future decision makers. UNCCD is one of these institutes. On the other hand, youth and international development are very tied together. Their strong connection come to picture when addressing different issues. For example, addressing extreme poverty, extreme hunger, universal education, women empowerment, ensuring environmental sustainability, and of course, combating desertification. And this list goes on and on. So how can you actually get involved? And what would be the examples of your engagement within these projects? I'm selecting four here, but I am going to only focus on these two programs. And I'm going to talk about it in the next slide of what are, the, what are these um, projects would look like. So, Earth Child Institutes presents a program that facilitates sustainable development conversation among young people. The overall goal of the project of Power of One Child Global Action Program, Action Classroom, is to crossing borders digitally and to promote collaboration on a global scale. They provide youth-led classrooms which enable young people to learn about environmental protection and also act on it. Since 2011, more than 300 children are now impacting, interacting with their peers across globe in different time zones. Countries such as Nigeria, Mozambique, US, Brazil, China, they are involved in this program. Also students receive mentorship, which they can identify issues related to environment, specifically within their community, so they can come with an action plan that affects where they live. So it also makes you feel much more belong to where you live and how you can take action within your own community. A second example I'm going to talk about is going to be related to the 
young women among you here. Um, organization called World Association of Girls Guides and Girl Scouts. They provide leadership um, skills through a variety of programs with their very recent event, um, leadership program called Young Women for a Greener Future. They had 70 uh, girls from 60 countries to come to their centers in Switzerland and in India. They focus on developing participant personal and leadership skills in order to influence their home countries when they go back. And they've been focusing on diversity of issues, environmental issues, climate change, communication, conflict resolution. And at the end, what they did, they, uh, they, made, develop, they developed national environmental projects and they had it back to their home countries and they were engaged with the organization that actually impacting these issues and their home countries. So, what, what can you do right now? Like, yeah, right now you are here. You can follow our hashtag, which is for the event on this Sunday, it's celebration of the World Day to combat the certification. Within our social media, you can find your interested post. You can post it on your wall. You can post it, which, uh, share it with your friends. And in this way, you never know at some point, you can get connected with the people, other part of the world, that actually dealing with the issues on a daily basis. You can learn about their struggles, you can even exchange thoughts and maybe come up with the solutions for them to how to take care of themselves and how to have built the resilience regarding these issues. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope you find something interesting here. I'm going to pass this presentation to my colleague Dimi. Thanks so much.